Okay, so you have a cruise booked. Now what? Hey cruisers, I'm Amanda with Barretto's on the Loose and in this video, I'm gonna share with you 20 things that seasoned cruisers do to get ready for their cruise. Obviously pack the normal things you would for vacation, your clothes, shoes, accessories, but don't forget the following items. Number one, a lanyard for your sail and sign card. Your sail and sign card is your form of payment, your room key, and your access to get off and on the ship. So having somewhere convenient to put it and wear it will help you out tremendously. Number two, you are allowed to bring a 12 pack of 12 ounce or less non-alcoholic beverages such as sodas, sparkling waters, or energy drinks. Now this has to be packed in your carry-on luggage, not your checked bags. Now if you are a wine or champagne drinker, make sure you bring your allotted 750 milliliter bottle of champagne or wine with you as well. Now this also has to be in your carry-on and not your checked bag. Number three, if you are planning on getting Carnival's all-inclusive drink package, cheers, then buy that ahead of time for a discount. Number four, plan your elegant night outfits and your theme night outfits. Carnival has one elegant night for cruises that are two to five days long and two elegant nights for cruises that are six plus days long. Elegant night is basically where you can get all glammed up and dressed up and go to dinner in the main dining room and just feel glamorous. Now, if you don't want to dress up, you can avoid the main dining room and eat dinner at one of the other restaurants like the Lido Buffet or Guy's Burgers. Cruises also have theme nights, whether it's white hot party or 80s night. Now you can check to see which events you're ship will have by going onto Carnival's website and filtering by ship. Now if you plan on joining in these events, again totally up to you, then you can plan your outfits accordingly. Number five, pack your beach bag or backpack so that you can carry your items to the pool or for port days. Number six, pack a clock that won't adjust automatically with satellites so you always know what the ship time will be. Now typically your ship will stay on the home port time zone and if they don't they will update the passengers but the ship will have its own time zone and you'll need to follow that so you know you know what time events are, shows, your dinner time and most importantly what time you need to get back on the ship on those port days. Number seven, your stateroom does not come with an iron so it's extremely convenient to pack wrinkle release spray so that you can take those wrinkles out or you can go find the laundry room on your state room floor and do the old-fashioned ironing. Now there are also a ton of other cruise gadgets that we recommend but you're gonna have to check out the video for that linked above. Number eight, for boarding, have your passport or birth certificate if you do not have a passport. Now make sure you pack this in your carry-on luggage and not your checked bag because you will need it handy when you're going through the terminal to get on the ship. Of course, along with your boarding pass. Now do not be that person who packs these very important boarding documents in your checked bag, then passes along your checked bag to the porters because how will you get on the ship? While we're talking about carry-on items, make sure you pack your medications, your jewelry, laptop, camera, and any other valuables in your carry-on luggage. Number nine, you can check in for your cruise 14 days before your sail date, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Come here. You can actually check in for your cruise at 9 p.m. the night before your check-in date. But shh, don't tell anybody because we don't want them snatching up all those early boarding times. Number 10, after you've checked in for your cruise, make sure you print out everyone's boarding pass and all of the luggage tags that you will need. You have to have physical copies of your boarding passes. I cannot stress that enough. Also have a plan for how you'll be getting to port that day. Let's talk a little bit about items that we can purchase and reserve ahead of time. Number 11, if you plan on using the ship's internet, consider buying an internet package before your sale date so that you can get a 15% discount depending on the plan you choose. Number 12, each night, Carnival photographers set up a ton of different backdrops to take pictures in front of. If you plan on purchasing any of these photos, which you probably will want to, we recommend buying a Pixels photo package ahead of time to save some money. We usually buy the five photos for $99 package. Number 13, one thing we always purchase ahead of time is water bottles. We order them from the fun shops on the Carnival website and have them delivered to our stateroom so that they're there when we get into our room.
Now, if you're interested in any of the specialty restaurants, you can also make a reservation for those online as well. And if you're interested in any of the spa services, some will give you a 20% discount for booking in advance of your sale date. Number 14, if you want to match your cruise crew like we like to do, make or order your matching shirts before you set sail. Number 15, if you plan on decorating your door, something we like to do, shop for your door decorations and pack them in your carry-on luggage. On embarkation day, once you're in your room and you have time, you can start decorating your door. If you pack the decorations in your check bag, then you'll have to wait for your checked luggage to arrive in your stateroom, which may not happen until the evening. Number 16, download Carnival's Hub app and log in with your Carnival login. The Carnival Hub app is super convenient. Once you're on the ship, you can see the events and activities for that day, what restaurants are open and their menus and so much more. So make sure you download the Hub app. Number 17, join your sailings roll call group on Facebook. Now, if you have a Facebook, you can go on and search your ship name and sailing date and your group will pop up and it's helpful to join it so that you can see any events created by your shipmates, see other fellow cruisers questions and you can post questions that you may have. And it's just a nice little place to go to before your cruise. Number 18, learn about your ship. You can study the deck plan on the Carnival website or you can go on to YouTube and search ship tours of your ship. Number 19, if you're a planner like me, research your ports you're going to and plan your day. Book your excursions before you get on the ship if there are any that catch your eye. Popular excursions tend to sell out. By the way, you don't have to only book excursions through Carnival, you can also book them through local companies. Another thing to keep in mind is that some ports are in industrial areas, so you might want to book an excursion so that you can enjoy that port. Number 20. Yes, we are charged for gratuities ahead of time, but we also recommend bringing along ones, fives, twenties, so that you can individually tip your stateroom steward, your dining staff, bartenders, and porters. We hope our video has helped you prepare for your upcoming cruise. If you enjoyed our video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below letting us know if you learned something new. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and happy cruising.